Hello everyone! I'm here, and today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to use Raycast. This model will be my torture. It's so Christmassy, isn't it? Very Christmassy. Okay. So, first up, you're going to need to load in a skybox. Well, first you're going to need Raycast. Um, we're going to use jewels. This, the Raycast that I'm about to use, uh, it was set up by Jewel of Hyrule. Go check her out. She's awesome. So we're gonna tor- let's, let's torture this model. After you have a skybox in, well, you don't have to load a skybox in first, but I do, because it's just easier and your model will look better. <laughs> Next thing you do, you're gonna load in a main- f okay. So, I'm doing this without step by steps, I'm sorry. Or a script. After you have loaded in your skybox, you can either load in Raycast by going to the accessory manipulation and finding Raycast. And then you load it in. You're gonna be brought to something like this. Your model doesn't look too bad, but sure you could just leave it at that, but that's not how you properly use Raycast. Even though I did that for a while. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to find your Raycast folder again. And you're going to head to the main folder. And you're going to select a main. We'll use this main. And now, your model's kind of dark looking. That's okay. That's normal. Now, if you want to set... Now, here's where the skybox comes in. Depending on what skybox you load, your lighting will change too. So head to environmental light map, this tab right here, select your skybox, and hit set effect. Find the folder with the skybox, so I'm using the help pad golden hour, and you're going to do lighting. You can do fast or just normal. I'm going to do fast. Another thing you can do if you don't want it to be a skybox, is you hit sky dome, and now it's stage. The Joker can be dancing on this stage for all the Christmas hearts he's about to steal. And that's a pretty basic setup, but say you want to go beyond. So you're going to pull up maybe the Raycast controller. This controller will allow you to darken light, brighten light makes the have sort of a glowy effect to them. Make the contrast brighter. Make the environmental light better. Or worse. Darker. Oh boy. You make the gamma darker. Saturation brighter. Ow. Okay. Don't. Or no saturation. Give it a color shift effect. Make it darker on the edges. Brighten the exposure. Stuff like that. Now, you can leave it at that or you can mess with the lighting. Do something kind of like this, where the light's behind him, so it's kind of shining in the back. Reason for this is because... Okay. Now, another thing you can do we're going to go back to English mode, is you can set materials. What you do is you open up MMEFX, go to material map, and click your model, which this is my model, and sub-extract. Now, depending 
on what language your thing is, um, it may be helpful to uh, find your parts first or have them in English. If you find, say you want to give this shirt texture, this shirt right here, you're going to set effect and then you're brought to this. Click an effect you want. Oh, those aren't working. Mm. It's okay. You can set an effect, and now your model's clothing looks like it'd be soft and textured. And for gold, just go to metallic, smooth, and choose any of the gold. Pants. You can select multiple at once to give them the same material. Like so. So that's how you give model clothing texture. Now say you want something to glow in his hand. There are many ways you can do that. Let me just pull something up. Um, the holy kazoo. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> let's make this kazoo glow. Now you might not want to set, set it to black. Oh, you can. Okay, that's what I'm about to show you. Just make everything glow. So, you want to make this kazoo glow. You're going to go to Material tab again. Now there is a way to do it with non-raycast, but with raycast, go to the Immensive and select color. And oh my god, it's glowing. You can change its color to glow orange or red. Or albino will to make it glow whatever color it is. But doesn't give off a good glow effect, so I'd suggest doing something like this. You can make it glow any color. It though sadly does not affect the lighting on the model. Oh, hold up, actually. Yeah, it doesn't, sadly. If you want to make the area darker, you can with a different skybox. Because what, what I'm about to do, you want to be able to see the glow, is you just do none. And change the lighting a bit. And maybe tone down the bloom. Turn down the exposure and bloom. Now the light's kind of directly shining on him, and it kind of looks like that the uh, kazoo is giving off the light. If you want to make it even more noticeable, 
tone down the brightness and try and just make it yellow, maybe? Sort of. Let's see if that helps. Turn down the contrast. Sort of like that. So it kind of looks like that the kazoo is giving off the glow. There are better ways. Uh, there's also, depending, there's also directional lighting, but I can get into that on a later episode. At video. But here's some basics on Raycast. I hope this was helpful. If not, I'm sorry. I tried. Anyway, I'll see you, you guys later.